Hi, this is Mark Nguyen with Velocity Group Investments. I'd like to show you guys um, in a quick video on how to earn 30 to sometimes 50% cash on cash returns. That means annually. So 50% annually on, on your money by joint venturing with me in investing with real estate notes. That means we become the bank. So people would have to pay us to stay in their properties. So it's, it's exciting stuff that we're getting into right now. Um, some, someone one time made a comment to me and he said, man, the banks always have the biggest and baddest buildings out there. How, how do they make their money? Well, as of right now in this video, I'm going to enlighten you on one way, one very profitable way, how we all can act as the bank and make money as um, as they do. So here we go. Let's get started. So I'm going to open up a file that I just got from a hedge fund buddy of mine. Um, this file is from Granite, a hedge fund called Granite in, uh, in California. So when we get a bulk of notes, it's going to appear something like this. It's all mumbo jumbo. So our property address, occupancy, um, current balance, all sorts of things. Um, it kind of looks like craziness, but there's a method to this madness right here. So. We have 93 right here, so 92 files, <clears throat> excuse me. Right here is loss mitigation status it is basically comments on from from Granite on what is happening to some of these files. Uh, some of them you'll see foreclosure intent, FC means foreclosure. This means mod complete, mod complete, loan mod. This is an REO, so you know they, they already foreclosed on that one so this is what we do I'm gonna do a quick presentation on how to how to make some money um, risk low risk so right here I wanna sort this out by occupancy okay so let's go here I want owner occupied only so basically homeowners that's in their home most of the time, they want to stay in their home because their mortgages are usually higher than rent. Uh, I'm sorry, mortgages are less than rents out there in the marketplace. So if they had to move out, they're they're actually going to have to pay pay more money to live rather than just staying at their current location. So I sorted out all the homeowner occupied, right, and. The key to this is basically um, we're going to modify these people's loans so you know they're, they're more able to stay in their house. So if we want to modify people's loans, I'm going to take out these foreclosure intents, right? So I, I don't want to foreclose on these properties. Foreclosure is the last thing I want to do. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tool that we have to use. If they don't cooperate, then we'll foreclose. But right now, let's let's play the game of modifying. Let's help these owners out stay in their properties. So all of these are foreclosure intents or foreclosure in process. So I'm going to take them out. So let's take that out. That leaves us with how many files? That leaves us with 15 files. Now I see New York, I see New Jersey here. I let's not play in New York and in, in New Jersey. Um, I've dealt with these states. These states are sometimes three years to four years of foreclosure. And if we do end up with a property, let's not play in that game, right? We want to do it as fast as we can. So take that out. Now we have um, 13 left. 13 left.
13. Okay, so right now we have this. Now what are we going to do here? Okay, let's open up another file. So open up another file and I'll show you these numbers and it's it's pretty exciting once you see the end number okay so what do we need right here we have we have BPO date BPO number or value BPO is basically um, the granite company that I was talking about earlier they already hired a third person um, evaluator company to go out there and appraise the property so this is what they appraise uh, some of these properties for okay current balance right here is basically what these people owe and this is the value right we're I'm not concerned about what they owe because they can owe a million dollars and these properties are worth $22,000 and that's that's these are the numbers I'm going to play with. So right here, I'm going to add this up. It adds up to 704, 287, right? So I'm right here. BPO 704, what was it again? 704, 287. 287. In right there. Now we're going to over here. Current payments. And that includes um, P PMI and insurance. So we're going to add this up. This is 7450, 77. 7450, 77. Right. This is current payments. Now, let's get to the numbers. I'm going here. Oops. Okay, so let's do this. Now, let's say we offer you, if you want a joint venture with me, and we go 50-50 on the deal, right? Let's, you provide the money, I do the work, let's split the profits at the end of the deal okay so on this 13 properties or 13 files right here it's worth as far as um these bpos in is is uh whatever they say right here it's worth almost seven hundred seven hundred thousand dollars okay um, of course we're going to do our due diligence and make sure it's worth that so I'll be the one calling other agents, um, paying for evaluations to make sure the property is is worth that much um, before we purchase it. But let's play a game. Let's so let's say these numbers are correct. Okay. Well, we don't want to buy these files at seven oh four, seven hundred and four thousand dollars. We want a discount. So usually we buy. You know. 25 sometimes 30 sometimes 40 percent on a dollar okay so so for this let's say we buy it at 40 cents on a dollar times 40 cents on a dollar is that so 40 cents discount purchase price, right? So 
so we're buying it for this. So I'm going to borrow 281 plus a little more. I'll let's say I'm going to borrow 300,000 because there is servicing fees, there's evaluation costs, there's attorney costs, there's there's my time involved in it. Um, there's a lot of costs involved in making this deal happen, but we'll, you'll you'll see eventually. Um, at the end of this presentation, you'll see why I borrowed all of that. But let's say we borrowed three hundred thousand. Borrowed money. Okay. So right here, this is the profit part. Okay. So right now, they're set to pay these people right here. They're set to pay seventy-four hundred bucks a month. That's your cash flow, right? But obviously, these people are not paying. This this is um, distressed mortgages. So these people are not paying, and what's what's to say they're gonna pay all of these off? Probably, most likely, they're not gonna pay all that off. So what if we gave them a discount? If we gave them a discount, would they be willing to to pay for it? Yeah, most likely. Let's say let's pretend that we're gonna give them a 20% discount, right? 20% discount. That means times 80%, right? So your cash flow, if it's 20% discount payments. So our cash flow would be $5,900, and that's per month. Okay, if it's times times a year, It'll be seventy-one thousand dollars a year in cash flow that these people are going to pay to us. Okay. Now, if we were going fifty-fifty in this deal, okay, seventy-one thousand, fifty-fifty of that, okay, would be divided by two. Maybe thirty-five thousand dollars each. So we're gonna get thirty-five thousand dollars each off of this, off of these thirteen people paying, right? What's your annual returns on that? Your return on investment would be this number divided by what you put up. That'll be twelve percent. Whoop de doo. I mean that's that's pretty good. Twelve percent is pretty good actually. It's I mean where can you get twelve percent out there? You know, like a hedge fund or whatever. I mean I I don't know. For sure a bank would not give it to you, right? But there's more to it than that. I mean this is just the beginning. This is just what wetting your appetite, right? So we have that. Now let's say. There's a lot of ways to make money on this, okay? We can, let's say if 12% is good for you, we can just let it roll. Let, let, let's keep it as a as an asset for us and let these people pay us every single month. And, you know, every year we're going to receive that. The more files, I mean, the more money we're going to get, right? If you're just in it for cash flow. But if you're in it to make capital, also... You know, you can sell these properties. You know, the we put out three hundred thousand dollars, but we control seventy. I'm sorry, we can we put out three hundred thousand dollars, but we control seven hundred and four thousand dollars worth of property, according to the third party analysis over here. Okay, so we control that. What if we sold that off? We bought it at a discount. Let's say we sold it. We sold these properties, and we just wanted to make a little bit of money back. Okay? Let's use an arbitrary number. Let's use 80%. We're going to sell these properties off at 80% market value. Now, just just for a side note, um, there are programs out there if if these people are paying concurrently for 
for three months, we're able to sell it at 97%. I mean, people out there, institutions out there, I mean, if if these things are, are, are consecutively paying for 12 months, I mean, institutions have no problems out there selling buying it at 90 percent of value um i mean if if we're gonna take it to foreclosure and then you know you really want a quick sell you, you could sell it off at 70 percent um to a uh a rehabber so i mean doing setting a number at 80 percent is a very very um conservative number i would say so let's say we sold this so at 80% okay so we got our, our value times 80% so we have this now 50 50 of actually no I'm sorry we have to pay for our profit would be this five hundred and sixty three thousand okay from this we have to repay the investor back which is the three hundred thousand repay investor investor so we repay the investor minus three hundred so this is the profit Now, earlier I said we're going to do a 50-50. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm misspelling everything. Profit. I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> I have to think about how to spell profit. It's a very important word. But earlier I said it will be a 50-50 deal, right? Just as this number right here. So 50-50 of this number. 50-50 of this number is divided by 2 is $131,000 so you take $131,000 and you add this which is the um, the profit from from what we're getting every single month right that's 167 and change right so this is profit for a whole year 50 50 this is basically the investor side and if you want to calculate returns you're doing cash cash on cash returns that's basically one year's worth is you take this number divided by what you invested and you got 56 percent 56 percent cash on cash returns I mean that's awesome right I mean we we budgeted 20 almost 20 basically basically 19,000 for servicing we 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 you know that's for attorney fees for for real estate agents we, we, we're it's more than enough money for the servicing of these files um, the only number that we don't have in here is basically if we do ever take the property back and we wanted to fix it up I mean that number is not in there but we'll talk if we do ever take a, the, the, the property back um, one strategy is basically selling at a wholesale price let's say at 60 or 70 percent or 80 percent people are willing to buy it for that much so we don't even have to touch the property so i mean i i don't know 56 percent cash on cash returns 
I mean, something you're 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 putting your money in some, with something that's secured by real estate and not just like some some stock bonds out there, whatever it is. I saw I saw a CNN report saying on the stock market, oh, we're gauging the stock market due to the news of the Ebola virus. It's like how what why should that be a factor in in your investment like the Ebola virus right if, if it's bad then your stock goes down if it's good then your stock goes up like what I, I don't understand that fact all I understand is brick and mortar which is real estate and people needs to to live in in a place and if you can live in a place that's cheaper than rent people would do that and we're here to help people out so um, you know, we can get some good karma in our lives. But if you like these numbers right here, um, come talk to me and we can do some business. Um, if you don't, I, I, you know, tell sell me on your plan because I'll, I'll go there. But it's pretty hard earning 50% of your, your investments out in, in a year uh, in something legit. So right now I showed you this and hopefully... You've enjoyed the program, and get back to me, okay? Have a nice day.